guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make a bechamel sauce. It's a white sauce that's usually used for things like uh, macaroni and cheese or different parts of Italy used in their lasagna. Um, it's just a really simple, thick white sauce and I'm, today I'm going to show you guys how to make it. So the ingredients for this, it's super simple. You're just going to need some whole milk, some all-purpose flour, some butter, some fresh nutmeg, salt and white pepper. Now if you can't get white pepper, you can just use regular old black pepper, but my mother makes this killer pasta bake that I'll show you guys in a different episode using this sauce and every time she makes bechamel, she always puts in white pepper. So that's just what I'm used to, uh, which is what I'm using today, but like I said, you can use black pepper, I won't judge. So let's go to the stove so we can start cooking. Action. In a small saucepan over medium heat, I put in just my four cups of whole milk. I want it to be nice and warm. And this one, right next to it, I added my butter. And I'm letting that melt. That looks just about perfect. Now to the butter, it doesn't have to be melted all the way. I'm going to add in my flour. This is just regular all-purpose flour and it's equal, equal parts to make a roux. A roux is nothing but a thickening, thickening agent. What we're doing is just mixing this together and cooking it for about a minute just until the raw flour is kind of like disappeared into the butter and there's no more lumps. So, But just keep stirring, very important to keep stirring so that there's no sticking or no burning involved. Now that we have our roux nicely cooked together and as you can see there are no more lumps, we're slowly going to add in here as we stir our warm milk, a little bit at a time. And it's going to start clumping up at first, but as you pour in more milk, I'm actually going to crack the heat up to this to medium high, as you add more milk, it's going to get more loose. So just keep doing that until you have all the milk incorporated into the roux. I've added all my warm milk and I'm just switching to a whisk and I'm going to whisk this until it gets nice and thick. You don't want to stop whisking, otherwise it's going to form lumps at the bottom and that's just not pleasant. And this is just going to go on for a few minutes until it's nicely and thickened. My mixture here is nicely and thickened. Now it's going to look a little bit loose, but I promise that once you let it cool for a little bit, it's going to thicken up. Now I'm lowering the heat to low and I'm just going to season this with some freshly grated nutmeg, just a little. A little goes a long way, so you don't want to make a custard out of it. You want to make a nice savory bechamel. Make sure you keep stirring. And you're going to season it with some salt and white pepper to taste. This is completely up to you, but just make sure you season it well, otherwise it's going to be very bland. Give this a stir. Now I'm just going to turn this off, pour it into a bowl, and i show you guys how to store it. Now that our bechamel is nicely done, and you can tell it's done by when you put a, a one spoon in there, if it coats the back of it just like so, and then you run your finger, and it stays separated, it's perfect. You don't want to go any further than that because as it cools, it thickens. So if you start with a really thick um, bechamel to begin with, you're going to have like wallpaper paste. That's what it's going to come out to. So to store it, I'm just going to put this in a bowl. Okay, just like so. And then I'm going to cover it with some saran wrap. But you want to make sure that the saran wrap is touching the actual cream, the actual cream sauce, because otherwise it's going to form like a skin on top because of the milk. And we want to avoid that because that's not very appealing. So just take your saran wrap and just scooch it right down in there until it's touching the cream just like that. And you can store this and it's perfectly fine in the fridge for about two days. So if you want to make a couple of these in advance, if you're making like a lasagna or a pasta bake or something like that, you're good to go. You have like the base component done. Now I'm going to pop this in the fridge because I am going to use this for an upcoming episode. So stick around for that one. But for now, we're done. So I hope you guys have enjoyed spending time with me. And to get this recipe and other recipes, go onto my website at www.learningthekitchen.com and I'll see you soon.